Hello and welcome to Magsy's Fun Time. This is Magsy. We are back here on Hypixel Skyblock. This is a vanilla server. If you guys like this episode, make sure you smack that like button. Subscribe to the channel. Let's get into this. We are postponing our usual updates, our usual uh, uh, um, guide thing for a very special event that's happening in Minecraft. Now, this uh, Hypixel Skyblock. Now, this event will happen every once in a while. There's two of them that are very special, and they're mayor events. Uh, one is Jerry, and I will go over that one when that one happens. And the other one is uh, Mayor Derpy. And uh, there are websites out there where you can go and look up a, a, like an estimation of when Mayor Derpy is going to pop up or not. I don't use those websites. I'm not going to provide links to those websites. They are out there. You guys can get that information if you want it. Uh, just let know that when you come, when the next election pops up, you always want to come over to the mayor's here. And you want to come in here. You 18 hours left. Uh, it, it, it'll pop up a couple days beforehand. You come in here and you look at the election box here. And uh, at some point, one of the mayors will be a special candidate called Derpy. Now, Derpy is always going to be voted for. I don't know why people are voting for these other ones. Nobody else is going to vote for anything but Derpy. And uh, the reason why is uh, for his perks. Now, there's a couple over here that, that I consider bad. And then the rest of them are really, really good. So the first one here is the AH is close. So leading up to Derpy being mayor, once you come here and you find out that thing, there's some prep work that you want to do. One of the things is anything you're going to need in the next five days uh, from the AH that you normally buy off the AH, you want to go ahead and stock up on them beforehand. Uh, the AH is going to be closed when Derpy is elected. It's going to stay closed until he's not a, not a mayor anymore. So just uh, make sure, like, God potions, that kind of stuff. Uh, make sure you go and get those off the AH. If you're starting a new profile, it's a great time to start a new profile. Um, if you are starting a new profile, get go ahead and start it, like, two or three days beforehand. Don't, don't grant your skills or anything. Just start it two, three three four days ahead of time get you some minion set up set up passive passive income try to try to grind out the garden get as much money as you can and grab grab those items off the edge you're going to need to grind your skills out we're going to go over those in a few minutes but just make sure you get those before he's elected now the other perks he has is turbo minions turbo minions have double output their output is doubled the entire time that derpy is mayor um you have double mob hit points so every mob that you uh that spawns in the game including bosses uh will have their health doubled and then there's more skills and this is why people love derpy being mayor uh derpy gives you 50 percent more skill gains the entire time he's elected that's what we're grinding for okay and uh, so there's some prep work you got to do for that. Uh, I wanted to go over the skills first. We will probably come back here and look at the skills again. But for right now, that's all you need to know about them. Let's go back to our island. We are on the test profile. I am thinking about deleting the test profile. Uh, you guys let me know whether we should do that or not. And I'll just do my main profile for the series going forward. And uh, this will open me a slot up for use for a, a co-op whenever I get a chance to do that with my family. Uh, oops, you know, we, we live, we live, we're poor, we live pay, paycheck to paycheck. So, <laughs> um, it, it's hard to get the ingredients up to so I can put the computers together for my kids. I like to, I like to build the computers. I like building computers. Uh, I got into it a long time ago. And, uh, uh, so all my computers are custom built by me. And uh, I want to do that for my kids, and uh, they've, they've they've agreed to it. But you know, one part of the time, I was like, just buy one part of the time. But uh, just getting the extra money. is a little rough. Anyway, so uh, one of the things you want to do the first the, when once you see what you've gone and seen that Derpy is on the list. Of, of candidates and he's going to be elected you don't want to loot your minions anymore you want to leave your minions running it's also a good time 
to decide whether you want those minions to be running. All right. So most people there there's a few there's a few uh, minion setups that require you to loot them every day at a specific time. Otherwise, they'll convert their items over to enchanted versions, and uh, that that that's bad. So so you, you lose money on that. So so taking those aside. Uh, most minions can most minion setups can run multiple days at a time for an extended period of time so you shouldn't have a problem with them filling up before mayor derpy comes into office uh but it is a good time for you to uh look at your minion setup is this the minion setup that i want for derpy mayor because these 50 percent uh skill increase include your minions when you loot them and that's why you don't want to loot your minions until he's elected once you once you find out he's there so what you can do is once you find out that he's mayor is go ahead and get a menu set up for the skill that you're going to grind so and i would choose the one that you're lacking the most in or the one that you want to get the 50. either one is a good choice doesn't matter it's your personal choice on this uh so so i'm almost low 50. i am low 50. but we're almost here so there we go so so whatever skill that you want to one of you want to grind, uh, make sure you got a minion set up for that. If 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 that's your choice, if it's just money making that you're worried about for your minions, and and skills is not an issue, you you I would still wait. I would still wait unless you've already maxed that skill out. Uh, that, that's your choice. It's something that I wanted to bring up so you guys would know. Uh, the second thing you want to do is make sure that you have all of the. Uh, doesn't necessarily have to be maxed although max would be good make sure you have all of the pets that give you xp uh wisdom how about wisdom um wisdom boost so that would be the wolf pet uh the silverfish pet the rabbit pet i don't know if i actually have that one yes there it is rabbit pet right there and I believe it's the monkey. Where's my monkey? I might have him in. Oh, there he is. Monkey here. It's not XP on him. Maybe I'm thinking of something else. It's the ocelot, isn't it? Yes, the ocelot. And fishing. Ah. Uh, crap which one's the fishing squid squid <laughs> there you go that's the uh minions that you want to have make sure you have those uh get some levels on them if you can uh, uh but make sure you have them and then use them when you're looting your minions during derpy you should be using them to loot your minions in general to get the extra bonus xp from it um and the farming fortune also from those pets or the fortune in general for those fats but that's that's the setup you want to do also when derby is mayor um and then uh you want to get your your setup gun for whatever you're going to be grinding uh if you're going to be grinding uh, um uh uh mining you want to make sure that you're going to be grinding commissions that day you want to make sure you get all your buffs for that you want to make sure you get the the best mining uh setup that you can and the length of time that you have before derpy's mayor make sure that's set up to go uh if you're going to be doing foraging one of my suggestions is this bad boy here this here is the uh island for um uh dark oak and you can get that from the dark oak collections if you come into here i already maxed this out but this is a good one to have and i don't have it on my my thing here but there is let me find it roofed forest island the recipe is like this it's just dirt and logs and this uh puts a side on that and then it grows trees for you automatically and you don't have to replant them so you just come up here with your thing make sure that you have your actual pet out that you want to be using so uh, if you want the forging XP, you want to use the ocelot. So I'm going to go ahead and put that one on. And then uh, there's no, right now, there's no XP 
uh, boosting uh, armor. They did add uh, um, crystals to the game. There, uh, I'll make sure that you have those on if they have a bonus XP, uh, bonus wisdom for that kind of stuff. But it's just luck, so it doesn't matter. We're going to grab this. Make sure you cut the whole tree down. Move on to the next one. I Make sure you're using your tree captivator. And then, uh, there you go. And then you just go do something else. Come back. Like if you're going to be grinding on your island anyway, come back. And then the trees will regrow up. And then you can build again. Uh, there's also one for wheat. Under the wheat collection that regrows wheat for you on your island. I wouldn't suggest growing, uh, doing any kind of farming on your island because they've disabled farming fortune on the islands the personal islands but that's something and this will regrow you can see the actual crystal up there and it'll just regrow the roots for you but you can also set up a, a special area um i don't have one here but like a tree growing area uh you set that up back here I'll actually switch to my other profile to show you this one because that's a perfect a segue for that one. So this is a setup for tree growing. And then what you do is, uh, well, it's it's actually for farming in general and uh, foraging. But what you do is you just plant whole blocks of trees in here. Just go ahead and plant them out in, in little blocks like this. You want to have them in blocks like this because there's a limit to uh, your tree capitator of how many blocks it will cut. And that can't be increased right now until the foraging update. So you're limited to a certain number of, of trees. So just like little 5x5 five five blocks for, for your minions and then plant those full of whatever uh, uh, sapling that you feel like you need. Which one you want to grind. Uh, I use dark oak because they don't grow too big. Uh, spruce can grow like big, big, huge trees. So, uh, good ones to do is uh, oak, um, um, uh, birch, and uh, acacia for the, this purpose here. If you don't mind uh, flying and cutting big trees from the top down, you can use a spruce. Um, I'm sorry, that's not spruce. Spruce. Uh, um, jungle wood or dark oak for for it but just remember if you use those three they're going to be huge huge trees you're not going to be able to just like go through them cut them down and then and then replant so and there's there's a third setup that i don't know much about but it's a redstone setup and you just stand still and it replants for you you just replant well, i think you replant them and then it it, it um uses i think enchanted bone meal and instant grows the tree and then you cut it down that way that's the fastest uh method to getting uh foraging xp but it, it it's i don't know I, I just can't use that method it seems a little too yeah yeah there's there's certain methods that just don't seem you know right to me so i can't use those no no, no purpose of that now you also might want to save up your bits when Derpy's Mare because it's a perfect time for you to grind skills that you wouldn't normally be able to grind on a regular basis. And that is uh, enchanting and uh, alchemy. Great times for those ones. Now, I'm probably going to switch back to my other profile. Uh, I did went ahead and uh, set these guys up. They are full of potions. Sorry. They are full of potions here. See that one right there? All the way down to this bad boy right here. Um, I will talk about that on my guest profile. So we're going to go ahead and switch back to that one. So in order to set up this one, you kind of want a setup like this. I have my three wide. You, you can make it as big as you want. Uh, in order to do that, all you got to do is go to the alchemist here. Little shop, shop, the alchemist shop. 
and you talk to her, and she will sell you stacks of brewing stands for a thousand nine hundred twenty gold apiece. And you buy those and you set them up. Now the there's five really good uh, XP potions for alchemy. Um, the cheapest way for you to do your alchemy is uh, one, go do the mines of Devon for four or five days and grind up golden blocks and then use that for your alchemy. Okay, that recipe at the gold collection. Yep, absorption. Look here, one, regular gold, three, can of gold, and then five is box of gold. And then to make it six, you go gold, seven, enchanted um, enchanted glowstone and then eight would be the blocks of enchanted glowstone and it just says enchanted glowstone and i i don't say, say dust but you guys know what i'm talking about anyway so um we're, we're, we're gonna get into that so you want the item so the first that's the first potion that you can use that's cheap for you to use uh it'll give you fifteen thousand a pop uh, the other one that's a good one to use is uh, Speed Potion. I don't know if that one's actually in the list here for potions. However, uh, what you want to do is have your garden unlocked. Uh, once your garden's unlocked, you want to set up on your garden. Let's see if we can't get her to teleport us there. You want to set up on your garden uh, a uh, sugarcane farm. It doesn't matter how big it is. You can use the default uh, parameters for it. It's a pretty good farm. Uh, you can make it double layer if you want to, but uh, there's not really enough room on the bottom to grow three high, if I'm not mistaken. Um, you really want multiple ones, so you want to get like one that's all three uh, farm plots right here together and grind that um, if you can. And uh, you want to grind that one. And you want to get as many enchanted uh, sugarcane as you can get. And sugarcane here. It won't take you long to unlock this one. And then you can craft it in here. You can actually just uh, auto craft. We're well, not auto craft, but you can like right click in here, set the amount, and then craft that once you get a bunch of the enchanted sugar and then uh once you do that uh you can also get your nether wart from here you don't even have to buy it just get it all from here and then you come back to your island here and you start setting these up so you want to go through get all your water bottles ready i usually like to set up an infinite water source near uh my alchemy setup here uh, that's up to you. It's, it's a little annoying. You can also do it like I did near your fishing uh, uh, minions. That's another good way to do it. Uh, either behind them or around them. Uh, anyway, but just so you can just instantly refill them. But So having a water source near them, a good idea. And it, it only, only has to be one block. It doesn't have to be a big one, but if, it doesn't even have to be infinite, actually, but I, I usually even make an infinite pool myself just to use. And if I'm going to be making something just to, to use on a regular basis, it might as well be infinite for me for that purpose. Anyway, back to this. So, you go through and fill them all up with bottles first, all the way down, all the way up, however many you make. Uh, you're not limited on this, guys. <laughs> the more you make, the more XP you're going to get during Derpy. And uh, you uh, then go through, you put start out with the um, nether wart, and then you put your enchanted uh, either gold block or uh, enchanted uh, sugarcane in. And then uh, after that, you put your I use enchanted glowstone dust, 
Uh, you can use Enchanted Glowstone. I don't know that it gives you more XP one way or another. Um, using the actual Enchanted version is what usually gives you the XP for the thing. Everything else just extends the uh, duration or increases its level of output. Uh, but if I'm wrong about that, put it in the comments down below so people know. Anyway, once you got those set up, uh, you can use redstone in these. Redstone doesn't actually increase the XP, like I said. It will make them more valuable. So uh, redstone blocks, enchanted redstone blocks will be the best one to use. Uh, I would just use just regular enchanted uh, redstone and just uh, boost potion up if you're going to sell them. Uh, for for not use the potions. Uh, if you want to keep a couple of the potions, you think they're useful for something, you can go ahead and keep them. Uh, but most of the time, you're just going to loot them, uh, refill your things, and uh, redo uh, them, set them back up, and then keep running through your alchemy. It's a good time to max your alchemy out. The reason why you want to max your alchemy out is because it gives you a boost to your god potions for the time that it lasts. So, you can't see it here. If I go into the hub real quick, 10 minutes. I think I'm up to like 18 or something like that. Uh, alchemy also, if you're going mage spec, is an important one to level because your alchemy here gives you intelligence every single level. It's also a good way to make a lot of money really quickly during derpy. Because um, um, you get lots and lots of coins when you level up now from, from skills. And as you can see there, the potion, potion duration goes up every single level. See that? And uh, plus two intelligence every level. So it's a good one to max uh, when you can. And Derpy's the best time to do it. So I think that covers everything to do with Derpy. Uh, the good ways to grind your skills uh, when Derpy's in office uh, for for the for the uh, combat and the other skills, just do them like you normally would uh, during Derpy. Just make sure you have your pets out. That will give you the bonus XP for the, the event. You want to get the maximum amount of XP that you can. So you're not probably probably not going to use your regular minions that you normally would use. You want to use the minions that, that give you the bonus uh, uh, wisdom for whatever skill that you're using. Make sure you buy those. Make sure you buy up uh, all the items that you are. Another thing about the island here, it spawns bats. So I'm going to let you know that. And you can get your uh, bat uh, talisman that way. Uh, it does it at night. Let's see that we respawn up all by themselves. So there you go. Uh, if, you, if you like this episode and, and you enjoyed the content, uh, make sure you smack that like button. It really helps out the channel with YouTube views, YouTube searches, YouTube algorithm movement for the channel. If you subscribe to my channel and you want to get notifications when I have new videos out, all you got to do is go to my page, hit the notification bell, uh, hit the subscribe button, set your settings, come check out the videos. If you do like this episode, you want to share it with your friends, help support the channel, there's a share tab down below. There's a there's links to that social media site. There's a link there for you to copy and post on the YouTube community page. Any tips, tricks, or comments, put it in the comments down below. We are going to go back and look at Derpy's uh, things one more time, just so I can make sure that you guys understand this one. Make sure you're taking into account in Derpy uh, the uh, double minion double minion hit points. Make sure you got your damage up to where you can one shot stuff. You want to be grinding skills like combat. You want to make sure that you've got the extra uh, power in your attacks. Also, make sure your main weapon, whatever it is, has champion on it. All right? Champion. If you don't know how to get champion, you can buy it off the bazaar or you can get it from Elizabeth here. Elizabeth here. Bit shop. Stacking enchantments. Champion here. Bonus XP there. Yeah. Make sure you do that. Anyway, guys. See you guys later.